Good evening. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have levelled their most explosive and damaging criticisms yet against the royal family and its staff, accusing them of lies, leaks and broken promises. In the final episodes of their Netflix docuseries, Prince Harry describes how his brother was screaming and shouting at him during a summit at Sandringham. He also accuses his father of saying things which were simply untrue at the same meeting. And the Duke also hits out at the press, blaming their battle with the men on Sunday for the miscarriage Meghan suffered at their home in California. Here's our raw editor, Chris Ship, on the brothers and family at war. It is January 2020, and at Sandringham, days after Harry and Meghan announced they wanted to step back from their royal roles, the Queen is having an urgent meeting with her family. It was called the Sandringham Summit. We never knew what happened inside the room. Today, we got Harry's version of events. It was terrifying to have my brother um, scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true and, and my grandmother, you know, quietly sit there and, and sort of take it all in. And her ultimate sort of mission goal slash responsibility is the institution. It could not be more at odds with the Queen's statement that same evening, which called the discussions with her grandson constructive. But according to Harry, there was more. A story that came out saying that part of the reason why Meghan and I were leaving uh, was because William had bullied us out. Harry claims he never agreed to the statement in his name, which denied that story. It was, he said, a case of the palace lying. And I rang him and I told her, and she burst into floods of tears because within four hours they were happy to lie to protect my brother. If last week the Duke and Duchess of Sussex focused their firepower on the press, in these new episodes they reserved the harshest criticism for his family, his brother in particular. William didn't like the spotlight shifting away from him, claimed Harry. When someone who's marrying in who should be a supporting, a supporting act is then stealing the limelight or is doing the job better than the person who was born to do this. That upsets people, it shifts the balance. So by the time of their last official royal engagement, a service at Westminster Abbey, listen to how Harry and Meghan describe relations with his family by this stage. First time that we saw the other members of the family was in public at Westminster Abbey. I felt really distant from the rest of my family. And it looked cold but it also felt cold. A year later, Meghan famously sat down with Oprah Winfrey, and you may recall she made claims about racism by an unnamed member of the royal family. At the time, it prompted this reaction from Prince William in public. Is the, the royal family a racist family, sir? No, very much not a racist family. But in private, the Netflix programme showed that William sent his brother a text message. What am I looking at? Wow. He's just going to text. He's just going to text his brother. We do not see what William wrote. It is clear, however, it was not a message full of brotherly love. And then to the big legal case, Meghan went on to fight against the Mail on Sunday. I am writing more things. Um to battle the mail. According to Harry, that privacy battle had a very damaging effect on his wife. I believe my wife suffered a miscarriage because of what the mail did. I can say from what I saw, that miscarriage was created by what they were trying to do to her. So, a lot of claims, and therefore some questions for the king today about the now enormous personal rift with his son. Happy Christmas! Can you hear, it? hear the riff with Harry, Your Majesty? No response this afternoon. Instead, tonight, a long-planned charity Christmas carol concert hosted by the Princess of Wales for 1,800 people. Support from Prince William, as well as George and Charlotte, but also from the very top, the King and Queen Consort. Royal family unity on show, at least from those still living in the UK. Ship ITV News.
The latest very public accusations could be the most damaging yet for the royal family. And most painful of all was the way Prince Harry singled out his brother for so much criticism. As Geraint Vincent reports. They were two boys whose bond was forged by tragedy, by loyalty and a deep affection for one another that was so often obvious. He's definitely got more brains than me. I think we've, we've established that from school. But when it comes to all that, I think hand, I'm much better hands on. Well, so. yeah. when you find so Boldness, sorry? When you find so Those happy days of brotherly banter, long gone. As youngsters, they had a terrific relationship. It's unfortunate that the relationship has collapsed. Will it ever be repaired? Only time will tell. You don't think it will? I have my doubts. Harry's got to eat a lot of humble pie before he comes back. Prince Harry's most recent TV testimony is, of course, not just a stinging criticism of his brother, but of the man who will one day be king. The, the, the resentment towards his brother uh, for the, the protection that he's had is palpable throughout. Of course, those who would be supporters of Prince William would say, look, Prince William is just doing his duty. He was born into the line of succession. He hasn't had a choice but to remain in the royal family. In the days after the death of their beloved grandmother, a glimpse in their grief of what might have been a pair of box office royal couples representing modern Britain to the world. I think the royal family have missed a massive opportunity with Meghan, Meghan and Harry. I think it would have given them a much better standing in the Commonwealth, especially as there are so many black and brown people in the Commonwealth. I think that they wouldn't be telling their story to Oprah, they wouldn't be on Netflix, they wouldn't be on Spotify, because they would still very much be tethered to the establishment. And it is them letting them go that I think has opened the floodgates to all of this happening. Harry and William's differences have now been set out in documentary detail. Perhaps one day a reconciliation will come, but in the meantime, how much has been lost. Geraint Vincent, ITV News. Well, our Royal Editor Chris Shepp has joined us in the studio. And Chris, there's been no reaction from the Palace on this, has there? Despite, you know, the severity of the claims. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise, um, yeah. No, no reaction from the Palace. There wasn't last week uh, when the first three episodes from Netflix went out and there wasn't this week either, despite what I think is much more um, severe claims today from Prince Harry, particularly about his family. Last week was very much about the sort of press relationship. As you point out today, it was very much about the family and also uh, this, the, the, the breakdown in relations uh, with his brother. I think, however, we got our answer from Buckingham Palace tonight in those pictures we saw at the end of my report, which was the whole family, uh, William and Kate and their two children, plus the King and Queen concert, all supporting Kate's charity uh, carol concert at Westminster Abbey. 1,800 members of the public were there. This is the royal family saying, not in words, but in deeds, this is what we do. This is what we're about and we're going to carry on uh, doing it. Look, what do I think after now watching six hours of this um, Netflix documentary? I just think it's clear that it was never going to work. I mean, you know, people have singled out Meghan, perhaps unfairly for blame, or Harry for blame. I think it was never going to work. And I think, as Harry put it for himself, they were always destined to kind of leave uh, and live the life that they're, they're now living. And that's probably the conclusion we will have to come to. But there's a book to come in the new year. There's more. Indeed. There is there more. There will be more. And we'll be doing this all over again. Chris, thanks very much.